So 20 second battle that Dr. Stone just let us experience is without a doubt the best 20 second battle that I've personally experienced. Now granted, as far as I know, this is the only time I've seen a show have a 20 second battle, but even if I've seen dozen of 20 second battles, I think Dr. Stone would be at the top of the list here. I think often when you read about war and you learn about war, or any sort of battles, you hear kind of like one or two things. Either it lasts for eternity, even if it actually wasn't all that long to you, it feels like dread and you're just waiting for something to happen, or it's over in a blink of an eye, but in the moment you really feel like it was an eternity. And I think what Dr. Stone did a great job at is yes, like a 20 second battle lasted like 12 minutes of this episode, but you're getting to see all of the details from all of the perspectives of what happened in that moment. Because the battle can be summed down to as they launched a cannonball basically, made a big explosion, made a Hollywood spectacle out of something. They charged in, they drove over the traps, it wasn't until the last trap that they flipped over. They used a sonic bomb as pretty much everyone else was knocking away enemies as they capture them. That was in 20 seconds. And it's believable to see what they're able to accomplish, even though there was a couple of times where you slow down characters are talking, you realize that it was truly 20 seconds, and I thought they did an excellent job at showing why those 20 seconds are the make it or break it of a battle. For a group that have one cannon fire, that's all they really have, and they could easily lose this, they have to make sure that fear makes them disoriented, disjointed, and you clearly get to see that, but you also get to see it on the flip side, because when Tsukasa and his basically new right-hand man by the looks of it, because everyone else has kind of betrayed him at this point, or are kind of captured at this point, it's really interesting to see how they did the exact same thing to Senku's army of science users, because when you realize that one of them is enough to beat the entire army, the fact that there's two of them, they're fearful, they don't know what to do, and they're very disjointed. The big difference between Tsukasa's 20 seconds and Senku's is Senku was able to actually do a lot more. Tsukasa is saying, I'm going to do the same thing as last time. I'm going to kill Senku, tell everyone else to drop their arms, because that's how it will be. The thing that the kind of army of brute force did take into consideration is that it's a very different scenario than that of the first time. Senku had no choice but to go down for his friends because there was no hope of survival. This time, however, they have an entire army believing in Senku, believing in their leader. He is not disposable anymore. He never really was, but you could see how in the previous situation, there was no way of talking or fighting your way out of it. You had to just accept that Senku was going to get that slash. Here, however, there's still a chance. They believe in science so much that even if they don't have a plan like before, fight and survive. And I think one of the biggest defining moments of any army is that you could, you see it a lot with a lot of movies and books and things like that, but there's real world examples that an army that had far fewer numbers beat an army with greater numbers, simply because the army with fewer numbers had something more worth fighting for. They believed in their leader more than the army who just kind of was there getting a paycheck or just didn't like the leader in question. And while it's not going to be easy, and while I also don't think we will see a death, I feel like they will get around this. Even if there is or isn't, I think Dr. Stone set up such a great foundation for Stone Wars that you believe in the scenario and you really can see that Senku is a very calculated person and if he says he's going to die, that truly means he needs to die. And if he's saying that, you know, this isn't the time, we still have another shot, he has another trick up his sleeve, and it's not like he's the only intelligent person. There is two characters running into that cave, and that's going to be a really interesting turn of events. I think without a doubt, this was probably my personal favorite episode of Dr. Stone overall. Definitely, there still are those season one highlights like, you know, the message from the father. I'm not going to say that's not like a more impactful episode, but I can't deny having a giant battle just feel like we really earned it, really considering where we started out. And I thought it was a great addition that the episode actually kicks off with Senku and kind of like Tsukasa waking up, showing like where we started out to where we're at now. It really does feel rewarding, and it feels like the reason why that message that the people were willing to stand up for Senku, and Senku was willing to say, fight for me and I will give you a better tomorrow once again, it makes it feel like you're not sending characters to their death for no reason. You're sending them, if they do end up dying, while it will be painful, it does feel like it's for a better tomorrow, and no one is disposable in this army. And even though there are characters like Magma who used to infuriate you, now seeing that crazy smile and that crazy tongue, you know, anyone should be shitting their pants going up against them. And even though someone like Tsukasa is, is without a doubt the most powerful character there, it still feels like, you know, with enough determination they might be able to survive this. And I like how it wasn't just one-sided. It actually felt like both sides had a moment of 20 seconds 
to really reshape the foundation of the battle. Senku's without a doubt was the best one I would say just because he actually did the most damage without actually having any casualties. But Sukasa actually laying in the fear and having everyone drop their guard is the exact same thing that they did to these mindless soldiers. And to have like the final moments be probably decided next week as I would imagine the last two episodes of season two because episode nine probably finishing up the battle 10 and 11 most likely is the resolution and epilogue. I think that's a good pacing and I think will be a very rewarding season to really kind of like say, you know, you guys were excited for Stone Wars, we delivered the Stone Wars, and in very realistic fashion, because not every side is fighting with machine guns and tanks, you know, really 20 seconds can be a make it or break it, and you know, when a whole battle could be decided within an hour's time, all things considered. This was a great episode. Sure, in terms of pure enjoyment, that's kind of like the big thing driving me, but I mean, there's so many moments to lead up, and I think makes this episode so rewarding because of all the experience, because of all the hardships, it feels like this is the episode. This is the defining Dr. Stone episode, and we still have a few more left in season two, and I'm excited for more. It's great to see Senku and what he was able to build. You know, generally when those you had those intelligent characters, they just look down on characters. And if Senku was like that, he would have had to die in this moment. But the fact that he actually inspired this group from people who used to experience the real world to people born in the stone world, the fact that he's made a civilization believe in him. I never thought Senku would ever be a leader of a village, but seeing what he's been able to do, there was never any better option than to have Senku. And personally, what I'm hoping is we're gonna hopefully go like a Walking Dead route where, you know, a character who was a big bad for a long time actually gets to join up with the main cast after some imprisonment time, and I hope Tsukasa will be a character like that, because if he can change his ways, that will be the most valuable asset that this stone world has had in terms of mixing with science, all things considered. I definitely really hope that we will get a season 3 eventually. I mean, we got pretty lucky with season 1 pretty much just beating us over the head saying Stone Wars was gonna happen, so I am hoping that we will get a season 3 because you do know like this would be a great stopping point if for whatever reason we couldn't get more. But even if, like, we don't get what we had with Season 1, a 2-core, I would be perfectly fine if every year, every year and a half, we got a 1-core of Dr. Stone. I think that'd be a great formula to really just make us appreciate the Stone world, because I feel like Dr. Stone is a formula that just you're not going to see again in quite some time. It's unique, it's interesting, and it's one of those shows that I truly think deserves 100 episodes. I think it's one of those shows that could go 100 episodes and not get boring because the way they kind of continue to throw in threats from Mother Nature to just opposing villages, it's really great and I want to see it continue. And I know being greedy wanting more than three seasons is kind of irrational, but still I think Dr. Stone has the potential to go the long run. And I hope they deliver, but I hope they also take their time so we don't get any messy productions like we've seen over the past year with all the different productions kind of having hit or misses due to the real world and horrible stress that animators have to go through. Let me know your thoughts and feelings on Dr. Stone down below. What did you think and how did you enjoy the kind of double whammy of 20 second battles? And what was your personal favorite? What did you prefer Senku Sai with the whole technological revolution or did you prefer Sukasa standing there and making everyone shit their pants? If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, share your support and hit that subscribe button if you happy new around here. So until next time everyone, please take care and have a good one.